Hello, you. Welcome to my shed. Hello. Why, am, why are we at my shed, you may ask? Well, because it is currently full of an arcade machine in bits. And I'm going to start reassembling and seeing, well, well, reassembling and putting it in the house somewhere. There's, there's the jammer board. It is a golden tea. Well, that board is golden tea. Apparently has a dead hard drive, but I'm not going to leave it as a golden tea. It's an Electrocoin Xeon, one of the big beasts. I know most people, when they have a bit, when they want to get an arcade machine, they go, oh, I'll get a nice small one that fits in place. No, you, 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 you might as If you're going to do something, do it big, eh? So, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I would have cho chosen something a bit more sensibly sized. But this was free on Gumtree. Um, apparently it was being thrown out. And, um, oh, there's, there's the control board. Uh, apparently it was being thrown out. There's the last time it was pat tested. I'll, I'll have a look at these again properly later. There's more bits and pieces. Uh, it was being thrown out. It was being junked. It was being taken to a skip. And uh, like I said, no, no, I'll, I'll take it for you. And um, dismantled it and took the um, monitor from it. He figured, well, uh, he didn't need any more arcade machines, but he thought the monitor was usable, so he, he had that. And then offered it for free, already dismantled in the boot of his car. And he delivered it to me for cost of petrol. And even then gave me a, what he says is a suitable RGB input TV that I could use in it. So, um, so here we are. Um, there's the front. The coin door is around somewhere. Um, it basically, it's, it's, it's all here, minus the monitor. And there's a, supposedly a suitable TV for it. And um, the hard drive, well, basically, if I, if I get the TV hooked up to it and working, great. And then if I just find an image of Golden T and reflash a different hard drive, it's, uh, it's good to go. I just need to reassemble it. So um, I'm going to get it out of the shed now and get it into the house so that I can get up the lawn mower because the lawn needs mowing. So, uh, you know, I, I, I spend a load of time cleaning up the shed and getting it all sorted and because it was really cramped and just so I could add some more storage space and then within days I filled it with this and um, then started uh, reorganising the living room and now that's looking a lot better and now I'm going to fill it with this. So, um, yeah, there's that. I'm going to um, drag it out now and then probably uh, show you a bit of uh, what it looks like outside the shed and um, then I guess uh, we'll see what it looks like in bits in the living room. Um, hopefully this footage is coming out, but we, we shall see in the edit, won't we? So, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, welcome to my shed. Uh, it was looking nice and tidy, but now it's full of arcade. Eh, there's worse things to it to be full, filled with. Right, uh, I shall um, back out and we shall um, see about getting this out of here. Once I've put some gloves on, because there's lots of sharp bits. So, yeah.
Okay. It's been a busy afternoon bringing in all these bits in from the shed, cleaning them up. I say clean them up, there's still bits on them, but giving them a wipe down so they're not all coated with dust and everything. I put the, what's the word, lockbox and um, coin slot back in there. That was fairly simple. Uh, that slotted in there, and now I need to work out where all the rest of these bits go. Um, I've got just enough room there in the corner before it reaches the window, so it just about fits nicely there. This bit just kind of balances there at the moment. If I put it actually where it is, it tips. So uh, I need to work out how that fits. Oh, actually, yeah, the, the peg slot into Basically, I've got to start pegging. I've got to start pegging for now, for now. I've got to start pushing these bits into the pegs, into the holes, and replacing broken ones, and seeing if I can work out. I think that bit's the top. That's some part of the back. It, it's seeing where everything fits and um, just getting it assembled and then once I've done that I can then start looking at where all the cables go and looking at my old... I've taken photos before all the dust was swept off that showed where the power supply used to be mounted um, but uh, yeah basically just got to start um, getting all these bits together just so it's neat there in the corner of the room and then I can work on getting the cabling and things sorted. Uh, mouse cow is not the least bit bothered by any of this, are you sweetheart? No. No help are you? Well, yes you are, in your own way. So, yeah, it's taken me hours just to do this and that's just pushed in there at the moment. That's yeah, that just held in with the pegs. So it's just a case of pushing bits together to work out where they all go. It's like a jigsaw without a picture. All these weird shapes and just see where they fit. And once I've got it assembled, then I can work on, well, whatever the next stage is, probably the wiring. And once I've got it working, then I can work on maybe painting it differently. And I, I, I just don't know at the moment. But... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be quite quite big in the corner of the room there, but fortunately it's white. It's black on the inside, but it's white on the outside, so it shouldn't be too dominating, I don't think. But uh, still need to clear out some more stuff to make proper room for it, but it shouldn't be getting in the way too much there. Certainly not as much in the way as it was in the shed, stopping me getting at the lawnmower. I should still be able to walk past this to get round to, to Mouse Cow. Hello, sweetie. Yeah, so that's that's the next stage. God knows how many more stages it's going to be, though. Mm -hmm. Well, what a difference a day makes, eh? I mean, I was still at this at about 10 o'clock last night, but I, I didn't want to be uh, thumping with the hammer too much at that point, because, yeah, neighbours and everything. Um, basically, I'd got most of this done last night, um, but this side panel I hadn't quite pushed into place because, yeah, thumping late at night, and half an hour. Um, this was an absolute sod to work out how it all went together, but uh, got there in the end. Uh, yeah, working out which of these panels goes where and which way round and which and then which screws and obviously at some point I will be taking all these metal bits off, stripping the paint off them and then putting fresh hammerite or something on it. Hello. And same goes for, you know, tatty old bolts and things like that. But, I mean, this panel is going to get replaced anyway. But, um, yeah, the, um, I left a wash around. Yeah, there are bolts underneath here. There are, there are brackets underneath here that then stick out that then bolts go down into. That took a bit of figuring out. But it, it, as, you, as you slowly put it together, it, you, you get less and less bits in the spare bits box. And you get, fewer, you get more bits where you go, oh, hang on, there's two holes here. And this thing's got two holes. And, ah, so that bolt's in there. And then that goes in there. And that's why I've got bolts without nuts, because there's a captive nut on that bracket and stuff like that. And, yeah. So basically, Cybernoid came and uh, helped me... Uh, push this bit together and make sure that all the various pegs and things were in place before hammering in so we didn't break any and uh, there's still this side panel here which goes on the inside yeah 
I, I've closed up the back, so I don't know if you can... Yeah, you can't really see inside. I'll, I'll show inside at some point. But uh, yeah, the, 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 that sits vertically on the side, much like it is there, just slightly higher up. And I have no idea why. Um, I'm guessing it's for wiring loom to be fixed to that rather than to the actual case. So, um, so next thing is basically wiring loom, I think. I need to get the wiring loom out of here. There's, there's the board, there's the dead hard drive. Yeah. Power supply. All the very wiring loom. There's the jammer harness. Speakers need to be fitted somewhere. Power connector. That goes at the back. I know where that goes. So uh, that's the next job, I think. Wiring. Putting the wiring in place and working out how that all goes. And then just seeing whether it'll power up and make sure we've got the power all sorted and... You know, because hopefully, hopefully none of this got damaged in transit. Just be a case of working out how we do these all connect together and um, and going from there. And then if it powers up, then I can work on putting what I want into there. Oh yeah, and also the TV. I need to put the TV in there as well, don't I? And work out how I'm going to display to that. But I think the first thing is the loom and the power, just so we see that it powers up, and then work on stuff from there and then work on <sighs> making a new control board of some kind. Possibly two joysticks with a, with a ball in the middle. And also that needs... That's really quite grindy. That really needs some cleaning up. That's had, that's had some abuse over the years, hasn't it? So, yeah, oh, and that bit goes down there, but I cannot be asked. <sighs> And I'll probably take that box off and cut the hole bigger for the coin box to fit in, rather than having this bit jutting out the front. It seems unnecessary to me, because I'm not going to be putting it anywhere and actually yeah, collecting money, so it can just get shoved further in. It don't matter. So, a day later, and it is actually it is actually rigid and secure, whereas before it was, well, you saw it was barely held together by some of the pegs. Now it is actually held together with pegs and nuts and bolts as well. So, um, nice bit of progress. So, and, and you've been a big help, haven't you, Mouse Cow? Who, me? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Just by being there and being pretty. Yes. So. Yeah, and I can still just about walk through around the living room. I wish I knew that angle of it. So, uh, yeah, it's a big beast, isn't it? I, I, I can't get over how big it is, but like I said, you might as well go big or go home. Or in this case, go home and go big. Have it, have it big at home. Yeah, and obviously that side, I'll need to get that side painted a bit better. But uh, it's work, it's, it's good, it's good, it's solid. It's, it's, none of the wood is rotten, that was something I was worried about. And it all fits in place, and I have found where most of the screws and bolts go. So, um, yeah, happy with that. <sighs> well, I wonder what the next uh, update will look like, because I don't have a clue. But uh, hopefully, it'll be wiring loom in place. And maybe a little tour of what the inside looks like. But that's it for now. <laughs>